hey welcome back to my channel today i wanted to share how i do these little uh, effects in logic using remix effects in arturia minimal So for the beat, I have a sample chopped in quick sampler. And then I added a super massive, a side chain, and I cut the lows. I also sent it to uh, my effects bus for some textures. After that, I lay down the drums. I have some compressors, uh, fat effects on the drum bus, and also uh, sending it to a reverb bus. And then comes the 808. Not to remix effects. Usually we just click on them to get some actions. So the idea is to map each action to a controller that will then be a MIDI map to a MIDI controller. This is my logic template. I save it in a template so it will always be there. I don't have to go back and remap everything. I added a remix effects to the stereo out rather than a, uh, an effect bus. In Logic, it doesn't seem to to work that well with uh, with buses. Since I'm using the Arturia Mini Lab, I can assign memories uh, to each of my pads and then use this to access different configurations. So for me, I have a memory one as a default, and then memory two kind of customizable, and then three, four, five, and so on. But anyway. The easiest way I found is using Smart Controller, which allows me to use uh, controllable knobs and assign them to a plugin's uh, functionalities. So then from here, all you gotta do is uh, learn each action trigger and assign them. For Remix Effects, it's already pre-assigned. You have a Remix Effects as the first plugin on your stereo out. Uh, but I will delete them and then assign my own. All right, so the way I see this is that the pad will be the action trigger to trigger different effects. And then the knobs will be a, a control to the amount and the other effects stuff. I prefer having all of the X axis controller on top and then all the Y axis controller on the bottom. Ultimately, I'm only limited to what the small control can control or within the plugin. But then again, I can just map other plugins for uh, other effects uh, to make the most of it. So for the effects, I'll have repeat, filter, delays, and wobble, and then gate or the stutter. And then you can use any of these actually. So starting off with the repeat trigger, I'll just click learn. Then I'll move to the X axis, click learn again. Next, for the Y axis, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I guess it depends on the action that happens. So you click, that is already one on and off. And then when you click, it already does something. So it already moves from one small point to the other, to the other small point. For this, what I found was that I had to map all three actions. And then I'll just delete the ones that I don't need. For example, I'll delete this one because this is rate and this is on and off. 
then now I have rate and the mix. So if you test it with the beat. It works. I will go ahead and assign the rest and then we'll move on to the MIDI mapping. So now it is time to map them to the keyboard. I would assume you're already familiar with uh, how to set up these memory preset for your MIDI controllers. I can eventually make a video on that uh, for the mini lab, but for now let's just continue with uh, remix effects. I will start with the repeat trigger. Learn. And now I can trigger the repeat with these pads. Same as before, all X axis will be on top and then the Y axis on the bottom. Then I click learn. Yeah, that's it. Test. Yeah, simple. Move on to the other ones. So for me, I have repeat, filter, gate, and uh, wobble and delay. So that's it. I will go ahead and uh, do the test. 